Goddess and look at that little girl. This is a very special book. I know, look at that. It's called the Jesus Storybook Bible. That's right, you're gonna be such a good reader. Well, let's see what's on the inside. Open the pages, open the, oh, the story and the song. Look at those pretty pictures. The heavens are singing about how great God is and the skies are shouting it out. See what God has made. Night after night, day after day, they're speaking to us. And guess what, Madison? God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror, to show us what he's like. That's right, see that tree? Let's go. And he's riding a bicycle. The kids are having fun. Hi, kids. The way red poppies grow wild, the way a kitten chases her tail, the way a dolphin swims, and God puts it into words too and wrote it in a book called the Bible. Boy, that looks like fun, doesn't it, on the bike? Oh, look at the birdie. Hi, birdie. Hi, birdie. Oh, there it is. Look at all those people. Now, some people think the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should do and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it, but guess what? Look at this. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he's done. Yay, God. Yay, God. Other people think the Bible's a book of heroes showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but guess what? You'll soon find out most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They made some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. And sometimes they're just mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is mostly a story, an adventure story, and about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince, look at this, who leaves his palace, has thrown everything to rescue the one he loves. It's the most wonderful story of all that's come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. Lots of stories in the Bible. Yes, I know, so many thousand stories. There's a baby, and there's the beginning, and God made the birds, and God made the waves, and the, oh, look at that, that's Saturn, I think the planet's way up in the sky. What else did God make? Trees, and tigers, and lions, and birdies. Look at that elephant, and, and I think that's a hippopotamus. And maybe an alligator and a big turtle and a fish. Hi, fish. What else? Oh, and a bad snake that told a lie to that lady. That's Eve and that's Adam. He said, you could be like God if you would eat that fruit. I could be like God, but God said, don't touch it. But she did. She disobeyed God. And they had to leave the garden. Oh, this is sad. But the story's not over. Because God loved Adam and Eve. And next time... Find out what happens next, okay? <laughs> there we go. Isn't that a good story? Yeah. Yeah, I like that story. Bye. <laughs>